Right, Michael, dangerous rip currents also affecting Dolphin Island. That's where we have Shelby Myers for you tonight. And Shelby, not everyone staying out of the water, you say today. No, Lanise, and that can be very scary, especially if you're from out of town and don't know about the silent but deadly rip currents hiding in our waters. White caps and on and off rain showers keeping most people out of the water on Dolphin Island. It was knocking him down. It was knocking the little ones down and I had to like pull them out. The strength of a dangerous current already being felt by Tommy Pulver and his family yesterday. So they spent today on the sand hunting crabs. These kite surfers venturing right out in it, giving beachgoers a show and they caught big air. You guys going to get out in this today? Not today. No, we're seashelling and fishing. Bill Miriani only touching the water to reel in this guy. It's my first time fishing this area, so uh, they were biting yesterday, so I decided to come out and bring the bring the rod and reels out today. No flags on Dolphin Island beaches to let tourists know about the dangerous current, but these warning signs on the road are blinking and Mayor Jeff Collier says the police department is also monitoring the beaches. Both families I spoke to are from out of town, but tell me they know what to do if caught in the current. You want to go kind of like swim sideways and not into it. You no, know, you want to swim to the side, get out of the current, don't struggle, don't get exhausted. That's when you know, panic sets in and that's when things can be uh, dangerous. And the dangerous currents hanging around for the next couple of days. So that is definitely something to keep in mind. A woman drowning here on the island just two weeks ago. Live on Dolphin Island tonight, Shelby Myers, Fox 10 News.